So before we talk about what translation is, we have to understand what amino acid activation is. Amino acid activation is a process through which the amino acid is 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 bonded to its tRNA. It's called tRNA loading. Before that can happen, there are a couple steps that need to be done or performed. So delta G is greater than zero. This is the thermodynamical state of this reaction, and this just just means that it's not thermodynamically favorable. And, and this is something not to worry about. We're going to talk about this in, future, in, in, in organic chemistry or, or chemistry. We, so don't worry about this right now. All this is saying is not thermodynamically favorable. So we have an ATP hydrolysis. And, and, and this process we're going to use, before we talk about this process, we have to put this in our heads, that the amino acid activation requires two phosphate bonds, a, a two, phos, two ATP equivalents. And ATP equivalents is a high energy phosphate bond. So, so we have two ATPs being used. We have two phosphate bonds that we need. So if you have two ATPs, it's going to give us two ADPs. If we have ATP, it's going to give us a amino. Uh, it's going to give us an AMP. In this example, we're going to use the AMP instead of the two uh, ADP. So, well, let's without further ado, let's talk about the entire mechanism of how amino acids are are ramped upon or or loaded on its tRNA. Before that happens, we need to. There's something that happens between the amino acid and and adenosine triphosphate, which is the energy source over here. So we have the amino acid over here. It has a negative charge on it, as you notice. And what this negative charge is going to do essentially is it's going to cause a nucleophilic attack on the amino. Uh, it's going to cause a nucleophilic attack on the the triphosphate. And what that really just means is that if you don't understand what a nucleophilic attack is. Uh, I, I I would recommend you go search it up on my channel so you understand what it is in terms of the, for the MCAT. But just to really get to the essence of it, a nucleophilic attack is when we have when we have a nucleus loving species. A nucle nucleophilic just means nucleus loving. So these electrons are nucleic nucle nucleic loving. So it's going to attack the phosphate. And what really happens as a consequence is we have this oxygen binding to this phosphate over here. And the leaving group is going to be is going to be the pyrophosphate. And remember, we talked about pyrophosphate being made from an orthophosphate, which is a one phosphate bond, well, one one phosphate containing compound. So we have the ortho, we excuse me, the pyrophosphate being made, being made. That, that's the leaving group in a second, and we we're going to see that in a second. So this is how it looks like. We have the we have the amino acid right over here that's now bonded to the entire. AMP. So AMP stands for amino, uh, sorry, amino monophosphate. And monophosphate because we have one phosphate over here. And this is called ATP because we have three phosphates over here. And that's why it's called adenosine, adenosine triphosphate. That's why. And right over here, we have adenosine monophosphate. So we have nucleophilic attack that's been done and we have a bond over here. And this bond will be broken later on to be used as a second energy source. And this is the second uh, high phosphate bond that will be used. So we have a pyrophosphate that's just that's just a leaving group. And remember, we talked about, I mentioned this numerous times, and we have a pyrophosphate being formed out of a orthophosphate. So we have two orthophosphates coming together to form a pyrophosphate. So now we have amino acyl, uh, amino acyl, which is the amino amino acid that which is bonded to the amp we talked about it right over here and this has a <clears throat> the bond that was created now is going to be broken for the second time to be used as an energy source and this causes trna loading so the trna is ready to be to be to be loaded or the amino acid is ready to be loaded onto the trna and that, that's done through the through the use of this bond that's, that was formed between the amp so we have the, this is the process that leads to amino acyl, act, uh, amino acyl activation. And, and this is, this is the, now the tRNA is ready and it's loaded and it's, it can go to its specific site and allow the formation of the polypeptide by giving off this specific amino acid in the entire polymer, polymerization process. So we want to quickly look at this once again, and I want to highlight that the amino acid activation is using two high energy bonds, phosphate bonds, and this is called the two ATP equivalents, and I've said that before as well. So this is an example of, of, uh, of what's happening. So there's a nucleophilic attack. So we're going to talk about how, 
how 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 this uh, this amino acid over here will now bond or will will attack another amino will bond to another amino acid through a nucleophilic attack and we've talked about we talked about this in the very early videos and probably the first video that I made was on amino acids and amino acids we we're talking about the directionality of of, of how these amino acids are are forming polypeptides and what really happens is we have the amino we have the uh the uh, the NH2 group over here, which will attack the carboxylic acid or the OH over here, and this causes a linkage between these two. And we're going to talk about this in the next video. And before I leave, I just hope that you understand what amino acid activation is, and it's really nothing complicated. It's just stating stating how amino acids are are activated to be used through in the process of of polymerization or in the process of translation.